go. What's up, guys? Caden back here with another video. We're going to be doing a glove collection with my friends Hunter and Levi. First, we got this TPX Pro Flavor Slugger, 12 and a half inches. Good for an alpha glove. It's pretty broken, but it's pretty creased. That's traditional. It doesn't have the best pocket for an alpha glove because it's not the thickest or the thinnest. That's two on the pinky. I'd rate this a six and a half. What do you guys think? Six. Six, yeah. Here we got the 12 and a half inch Outfitters Mint also. This one is really loose. I used it's to use, a Mizuno. Yeah, Mizuno Power Plus. I used to use this one at third base, but it got too loose and stuff. So I use it for outfield now. Yeah. I'll rate this one a uh, seven and a half. I'd give that a seven. There's that one. Got this Easton Alpha Catcher's Mint. It's a pretty good glow. It's just really small and tight on my hand, so it'd be really good for Hunter. It's not the biggest, so it's not really the greatest. So I'd rate that an 8, you guys. Yeah. Yeah, about an 8. We got this Louisville Slugger Omaha. 11 and a half inches. Really good for third base because it swallows the ball completely traditional and then throwing the pinky completely swallows it. So that's a really nice glove. So I'd give that an eight and a half. Yeah, about an eight. This is this his is, brother's glove. This is Hunter's glove. I can't really put my hand into it, but it's the X series, 11 inch. And it really has a nice pocket. He uses it for shortstop and pitcher mostly. Yeah, I would rate this one uh I'd give that an eight. Yeah, eight and a half. Eight. But it like it doesn't completely swallow it, but it sometimes swallows. Sometimes. This is my go to glove, it's Rollins. It's a uh, leap. Yeah, it's a GG Leap. It's eleven and a quarter. It completely swallows it, two in the pinky and traditional. It swallows it. And um yeah, I use this glove on shortstop and pitcher mostly. It's really nice and it plays really easy. This is my Rawlings catcher's glove. It's also a GG Elite. It's a 32 and a half inch. It it swallows it and it just closes really nice. Yeah, that's the catcher's mitt. This is my. Well, say an A2000 DP15 with 11 and a half inches. It's not completely broken yet. As you can see, that's traditional. It's not not the best, but that's two in the pinky. It almost swallows it. We're getting there. Yeah, I'd rate that a 9 out of 10. Yeah, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, yeah. Okay, so this is my newest glove in my collection. I just got it yesterday. So it's actually really broken in. Because I gave it to my friend Caden. Shout out, CMJ Bombos. He did hot water treatment on it like three times. Highly recommend hot water treatment. And then just have your mallet and beat the crap out of it. <laughs> but he, he got the box on it. Got the box for him. Yeah, it's a really nice glove. It's the Wilson A2000 Pudge. 32 and a half inches. Close is really easy, even though it's still not broken all the way. But he he got it really broken for just one night of working on it. This thing gets broken. It's going to be a really solid glove. So thanks to Hayden. And yeah, that's my Wilson A2000 Pledge Sketchers Mint. And thank you guys for watching. It's Caden here. Thanks for watching. See you later.